it just feels better. How long was I sleeping? What the hell is this? I dreamt of arriving in some sort of red paradise, but ended up in a freaking dungeon. Look how deep this hole goes. Damn, dude, I hope you think Godzilla's cage. Alright, that was too long of a trip. I gotta take a piss. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. More like, welcome to the bottomless pit of death. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. Um, where's reception? I gotta process the cargo log. We can't talk with you. What? Now. It's cargo? It's just three boxes. That one looked big enough to be a coffin. Uh, whatever. I'll find it myself. Welcome to egg. Mars City. Union oh, Aerospace is a premier voice. research facility. Well, I don't like that to expedite your processing, sound. please proceed directly to reception. I gotta get out of here. Yeah? You just missed the flight. Have a good one. Let's see. Welcome to Mars, Marine. Uh, glad to be here? I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. Alright, bio scan looks good. I may be a buff now, but I'm not contagious. Damn straight I'm clean. Hello. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars. On behalf of my this big brown dad. This is the central hub for all scientific blah, research, blah, archaeological blah. study, and military operations. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. Rule number two: Shut up so we can communicate. Mars City is a smoke-free hey, facility. What did I just say? Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. Ooh, number three, it's the oral well-being and proper dental care of our employees. So when they're sucking on my... Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. I see two corridors and a hallway, but I doubt that one security is even going to help me in any way. I hope it's this way. Ah, yes, the bathroom, finally. Whoa, wait, men and women? I don't believe it. Men and women sharing the same bathroom. Let's check it out. Of course, no one here. They must have been anticipating my arrival. Oh, and the facility takes it to another level by excluding doors for the toilet seats. How bizarre, seriously. I'm gonna leak. Yeah, that feels better. What if I walked in here and saw a hot chick sitting on a toilet? What if I went up to her and asked for her number during her potty session? Or hit her up for a bathroom date? Or what if... Or what if she... Oh, jeez. What if I walked in and a fat chick was taking a nasty shit? The smell would probably be so gnarly that I think. I don't think I'd ever have to go to the bathroom again for the rest of my life. I'll go home, my girlfriend would be like, Hey, what's wrong? And I'll be like, it was horrible on on Mars. Men and women shared the same bathroom. She probably wouldn't believe me, but just laugh. Oh, hey, check me out in the mirror. I'm one bad mofo. Thanks to a certain genetic disorder, I always look like I'm going to punch someone in the face. It always gave me problems when I asked girls out on dates. The thing with girls is... Oh, a kitchen. Hmm. It doesn't look like Miller, much. You hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. It feels like shit Halloween. Shit's almost weak. You lose one, gain another. No shit. I wonder who they're gonna move to Bravo Team now. Who knows? I just hope All right, I've seen enough. It was always an issue when... More accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, I guess you could call it fate instead. Attention. Dr. Braddock, please report and once to again, the intercoms are annoying as hell. Alpha. I better be going the right way. So, anyway, it was always an issue when I asked girls out. Relationships are always troublesome. 
what's going on here? Oh, okay. He's oh. Holy crap. Did someone splash a pot of boiling water in his face? It's like the facial skin melted right off. <laughs> facial. I better not get the wrong idea. But it sucks, because after a painful recovery session, he'll look like Freddy Krueger. Or if he can't recover, he'll have to wear a mask like Leatherface. <laughs> I feel like I'm going in the circles. Is this it? Oh, combat prep. What? Me? I know, I'm awesome. Oh, holy mother of guns, it's all here. I'm gonna jizz with its huge load, no pun intended. Hey buddy, how's it going? New guy's here, and I was sent here directly by the general to give up on everything before I start my first important duty. So how about it? Hello? Come on now, don't play busy with me. Jeez, another douchebag on my list. Oh, wait. Did I tell him general? Oops. Oh, Marine HQ. Huh. I almost missed it. Why would there be a turret in this cramped hallway? Took your sweet time, Marine. Sorry, sir. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. You pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Let's go, little buddy. At first I got lost with the directions he gave me. Thank god for this thing. It's pretty cool. Could he do any tricks? At least mine's walking. The sentry, huh? I should be programming to do some obnoxious thing to pick off that douche on the drop-off station because he was too busy for giving directions. He'd ask me to stop it and I'd be like, if you're looking for someone to help you, hit a reception. I gotta process the polish on my pistol and if you're lucky, I won't jam it up your ass. No, what? He said that he saw some strange creatures or something down in Delta. Hmm. He said it wasn't human. What? Hold on. He kept an in that guy says. I'm just telling you that's what he said. I don't know if it's true. Another reason I can't... I guess rumors are common here. Oh, I forgot about this thing. I should make up a rumor just for the heck of it. Maybe something about Martian being like a little red gnome that's scurrying in our closets. Or the guy in the scan chamber takes pictures of the guy's genitals in the midst of the red light rays. Or I caught a fat chick taking a nasty dump in the bathroom that I saw grueling evil spirits rise out of the toilet. Or how about the dude in the emergency room went down on a Martian that blew a boiling hot load over his face and melted off his facial skin. That could be another way of saying we come in peace. What's this? This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernays, dated November 10th, 2145. Hmm, something to listen to. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. Freaky! I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the, the stories I've heard from some guys over the Delta Labs, freaked out. I really began to hate going down to the underground maintenance services. area. The people down there are a bit off, mumbling, weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. Is End it this log. one? Three, nine, six. Oh, ho, that's fucking awesome. Clipped without a friggin' gun. But with a message like that, I could definitely start up that midget Martian rumor. They just have to believe it. And why did this feel funny? Oh, wow, that explained it. I'm back to where I practically started. All the stars needed to say was, you know where that scan chamber where they check you for contaminants? Head directly to that and make a right. 
He's on my douche list too. I should program the sentry to head back to HQ and kick Quirrell Sarge in the balls. Alright, here's the elevator. Let's see what's down on level 2 of douchebag.